You're one of the best chefs in the country, and you mm. recently <laughs> uh, decided you didn't want to be... 30 stone 30 anymore. 30 stone anymore, yeah, and you lost much. 12 stone. Yeah, yeah. To put it in perspective, you did it earlier, but stand up with your old trousers. My old trousers. OK, so these are... These are my old trousers. This is for, I mean, this was for literally. You, you could get, could us get into two one of us. You could get we us could both in there, together. and I'm not exactly a small, shy, and retiring unit. We could we could be hanging out sure. in those together. So yeah, Tom, it was a. Look, you're a brilliant chef. You're one of the best in the country. Let's part that to one side. You got into serious issues with your weight. Why did you get into them, and what made you finally go enough? Okay, so I, I mean, I think it's a number of things. I, one of them is, is lifestyle, like lifestyle choice. And as a chef, you work very hard, you work long hours, and you fall into the trap of escapism of drinking and partying hard and eating late night food and, and then getting up early. So the whole lifestyle, I kind of personally bought into it as it being quite rock and roll and it's, you know, it's quite extreme. And I, after a number of years, you also, running a business as well, it does take its toll, the mm. pressure. So you're always looking for a release of a pressure. And you're in the food business. And you're in the food business. You've always and it's got there. access to food. Exactly. So what was the moment when you went enough? It was approaching 40 years old. Piers, one day when you get there, you will get to that, <laughs> when you get to that point where you go, actually, this is a point of recognition in my life that actually I think I need to, I need to make a change. I need to do something. There, there wasn't any conversation with doctors or um, anything. There, there wasn't career professionally wise. It was doing really well. You know, pub was doing great so it, it was just an age thing that thought but to then I need to be to 30 stone wearing those trousers and to then try and get the self-discipline yeah. to get yourself back on track that is not easy how did you do it well actually you talk about self-discipline from it the thing is you look at diets now i lost weight by go choosing a low carbohydrate diet because of the way that i cook it didn't professionally i didn't need to alter it i could still cook in butter i could still deep so what did you cut out like I cut out starchy carbohydrates and alcohol. So that no pasta, it. no bread, no, no pasta, rice. No, that's it, no pasta, no bread, no but rice. no drinking. And, and Yeah, no drinking. Dr now, drinking on diets is, isn't good for any diet, no. irrespective of what it is. Because liquid cake, they liquid call alcohol. Well, actually, it's not, it's not the calorie thing or, or the fat content or the sugar content. It's the mindset. Yeah. It and puts how you it into changes it. your appetite. Exactly, and you just think, oh, I'll have something do else. Do you drink at all now or not? No, teetotal. So you don't do, drink at and all. And do you feel much better for that yeah well i don't wake up in the morning and have to have like a pint of coffee and six mm. neurofen i can't you know i can get yeah. up and just have the pint of um, coffee. what about bread and stuff like that do you go have you gone not very try? often no no I, t I do do carbohydrates but i do them through um fruit i do you know i love apples and grapes and that sort of stuff mm. so the the book is lose weight for good it's it, lots of lovely recipes there mm. you've also got a show of the same name there are many people struggling mm. this week in particular with their new year's resolutions yeah and probably as I did yesterday, just opened the cupboard and took out the crisps which were left mm. over from Christmas and yeah. stuffed them in their face. How do you get to the point, the tipping point, between still snacking and taking a step backwards and keeping on going? So much of it is about organisation and structure and understanding and planning your week ahead, kind of. Really? A, 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 yeah, it really is. But the big thing about diets is they, they all work, OK? Mm. Every diet works because otherwise they wouldn't be it's there. It's what but, happens at the but, end of it. Yeah, but you're, you're looking at me going, oh, they don't work because I fall mm. off it. You fall off it because the food you're eating you're not interested in. You get fed yeah. up of it, you get bored of it. So the idea of this was actually to look at lower calorie food, which is, I suppose, the most common way of losing weight. The NHS recommend it. It's the way, but and making it flavoursome. Making it yeah. flavoursome. You know what, in the end, Tom, it's not difficult, is it? You eat healthy food, you can eat quite a lot of it, and if you do a bit of exercise and you don't drink yourself into oblivion, you're probably going to lose weight, right? Yeah, but the food's got to be interesting because if it's not, you get bored well, of it. Nobody and you fall cooks off more it. interesting food than this man, Tom Courage. <laughs> if you haven't eaten in one of his places, go there, he's a genius.